this is all continuous? You're so what this is is a, a laser just a little bit off the ground and showing line of sight to a camera that's also on the ground in a warehouse. And it's, uh, I think you said it's about 18 degrees in the warehouse and about 1 degrees, and that's Celsius outside. And uh, the point is, is he's showing, uh, he's showing how the cold air coming in above the warm floor causes the lights to uh, compress and disappear, demonstrating obstruction over a flat plane, basically. I just cut it to the beginning. Yeah, okay. It reminds me of something Skyfree would do. Yeah. Oh, it looks yeah. like the laser so this, setting. Is this, is this letting in cold air? So you see the light getting blocked just, you know, by the refraction, basically. So he's uh, kind of comparing that to the sun, how it sets. Okay, so the sun goes away off in the distance. So on a flat earth, it would be going thousands of miles away, and you would have cold air where you're at. Okay, just like the cold air coming in. Um, refracting the light, making the uh, sun disappear, basically. And uh, so this point of this video is to show that they just say anything at all to defend their model. Pretty much anything at all. So I realized that they're not lying. Uh, they just think that that's their reality. So they think anything they say that's an answer to the problem is justified. Because they know for a fact their model is true and correct. So but listen, listen to this. Inside of a warm building? Yeah. Yeah, don't. Explanations I've heard. I think one, one thing it's important to note is, you know, we've seen people try to demonstrate obstruction over a flat surface, and we don't see that here. <laughs> he just demonstrated obstruction over a flat surface. And just because right then there is no obstruction, he's just said, and uh, we don't see that. <laughs> he just seen it a minute ago, knucklehead. But it's funny the links they'll go to, man, in their own brain. Their mind is just mind-fucking their own selves. It's weird. It's hard to explain, and it's weird to see. I guess that's not what you were asking about, though, huh? Yeah, why, also, so, yeah. weather goes up, not laterally. Weather so, goes up. Can you get yeah, expand weather, on weather, that? Weather, weather radar is oh, pointed right. up. Not lateral. So, he's, so now this is uh, R.C. Meisty uh, explaining that the radars are pointed up. Okay. But if you look just in the, on the screen right in front of our face, you see the storm that's about probably about seven, eight miles away. Could you point up and, and see that cloud? No, you got to point out. Okay. He's acting like it's pointing up, but... What they're doing is in their mind, they're picturing, like, picture a piece of paper and a little dot at the bottom of the piece of paper, bottom left corner, representing, like, a stick man or a radar, tiny little dot in the bottom left corner. And then they were going to picture clouds up at the top of the paper on the other side of the paper. And they're thinking that's, like, 20 miles away. But in reality, in reality, the clouds that are barely over the trees on the horizon are only about 10, 11 miles away. Okay, if you, you can test that in your car, pick a cloud if you're ever on a straightaway, driving toward the clouds, you know, it's bound to happen eventually. I've already done it a few times, and it's really about around 10 miles, I say 11, just to give a cushion. But clouds that are on the horizon just above the trees are basically about 10 miles away. So you're not going to see the weather out and around you pointing up, okay? He's just saying that to... Because to, to fix his subconscious, for lack of better terms, look, he's certain of it. Look. Really? Duh. Duh. Okay, so it doesn't track anything near the ground? Like weather's low, low uh, weather? Straight straight up. Hello and shout out straight to up. three of my friends. Straight up. I see the Johnny Tormano. And he's asking that RC might see if the weather radar only goes 90 degrees. No, it typically goes out from about, I think they're on about, uh, no. no, it goes out now. Watch him slow down. His brain is, 
his reality is catching up with his with his subconscious, basically. Ninety foot towers at Indianapolis International Airport, if I remember correctly, and they go out. I don't actually know how far up they are angled, but they're definitely not. They're not going surface to surface. The point is, is that they're typically going out and up, not out and then trying to follow the curve of the Earth to go down. What curve? The point there is that, look, out is not up. Out is not up, okay? Out in the distance is no longer up. Out is, I mean, up is is out, basically. Like I say, the clouds 10 miles away are, are freaking eye level. So, I don't know. I just thought I'd point that out. Maybe this will help RC Meisty. See right here, a tilt angle of 0.5 degrees means the radar's antenna is tilted 0.5 degrees above the horizon, viewing multiple tilt angles. So an unnoticeable amount of tilt. So in his in his ball world, or I guess in his globe-minded brain, yeah, the radars are pointed upwards toward the clouds above them in an orthogonal view yeah you think the radar would need to be pointed up but in reality the clouds off in the distance are pretty much at eye level so the radar is barely tilted whatsoever so hopefully that helps you meisty